Hello, freak bitches. Where you saw a lot of the hypocrites was in the first few days of this Harvey Weinstein oh, shit. Oh, please. Yeah. Please. Nobody this wanted is to say embarrassing. Shit. And you know what, man? At the end of the week, they're all fucking disgustos. Because they all fucking knew about it. Oh, they all knew about they it. They all knew about it for yeah. years. And now they all want to raise their fucking head. But you know what, bro? When Harvey was giving them movies, nobody was complaining. Yeah, well, I've, I've heard Nobody that argument. Nobody was complaining. Nobody I heard was that complaining. argument from a girl. She was saying that uh, Harvey Weinstein gave them all careers. I was like, wow, that's a crazy, the crazy truth. argument. The one, uh, two of the chicks thanked them in the Oscars. Yep. Now you're going to kill. Listen, leave me the fuck alone. The ones that really need the smack of the mouth are the guys that came out and said, I got molested once. I, yeah. I got, my dick got touched <laughs> at a party one time. We live for that shit. <laughs> we live for somebody to touch our fucking dick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're not going to go to therapy. We don't say nothing. Somebody grabs your dick, you just fucking smile and go. What if it's a little go, gay guy? Hey, whatever. Everybody needs a break from time to time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you never let a gay guy suck your dick what with ice cubes a, in their mouth? No, I haven't. It's a party. You Is know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I don't know. But I had a friend one time <laughs> that he let anybody suck his dick. Anybody? Anybody. Anybody who wanted to suck his dick could suck his yum yum stick. Really? And one day he was telling me about fucking getting his dick sucked by a gay guy with ice cubes in his mouth. I nearly fucking died. He just let the guy do it? Yeah. He goes, fuck it. it was what was the tremendous. conversation? He was telling me how his mouth was cold and all this shit, and I was fucking dying. Wow. I couldn't believe it. Did I he look at the guy while he was sucking his dick, or I did he close his eyes? Listen, I don't want to know about that shit. I would want to know. But you wanted to know about the guy getting his dick sucked by a dude with ice cubes in his mouth. I mean, why not when know he told whether me or not he's watching when, it? First of all, when he told me the story, I was young. Right. I had never heard that story before. I was mm. like 18. He goes, I let a fucking guy suck my dick one time with ice cubes. One time. Mouth. But if it was so good, why not keep going? You know, it's tough to find somebody who will suck your dick with ice cubes in their mouth unless you give them the small 50. I think once you put it out there, you put that flag up, people I will knew, come. That was the funniest thing with that crazy <laughs> bitch from Superman because she popped up like eight days later. Harvey took his dick out one time, and I told him, put that back in your pants. And Crazy chick from Superman? Which yeah, one? What's that chick that's crazy? Oh, the one that was hiding in the bushes when they found her? She had no teeth, that one? What the hell's her name? What's her name? With the Superman with Christopher Reeve, right? No, the other one. Was it Superman with Christopher Reeve? The early yeah, Superman, yeah. right? Yeah, it was the one with Dean Cain. Who was oh, the crazy? Dean Cain. Who was the one in there? Margot Kidder. Margot Kidder is crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah No, she, this was the other one that the other came one. out. You're talking about the one who was in Superman with Dean Cain, the TV show. Yeah, maybe. Was that, was that really pretty girl's name? Terry Hatch. Terry Hatch. Is that her name? She was on the TV show. She, you got to talk in the mic, buddy. Sorry, she was on the TV show. She was, she was in Desperate Housewives, yep. too, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yep. No, it wasn't her. I had an ex-girlfriend of mine get so mad when I was talking about how pretty she was. <laughs> this is Missing Margot Superman Kidder. actress found frightened in the bushes. Yeah, that was in 96. Margot Kidder, yeah, she went crazy. 47-year-old Canadian-born actress, best known. You know what? That's the thing. Once you hit, like, late 40s and you're one of those actresses and they stop calling and you are already crazy and the pressure builds up, she'd cut off her own hair with a razor blade in an attempt to alter her appearance, a Glendale police sergeant, Rick Young, said... Oh, boy. Well, She's taken to, to Olive View Medical Center for a 72-hour psychiatric evaluation. They could have spared 71 hours and 50 minutes by just bringing her to me. <laughs> I would have went, yeah. yeah, that bitch is crazy. <coughs> now, what happened here the other day with Corey Feldman, though? I don't know. He Did apparently got arrested. Oh, that thing. Yeah, yeah I just I made a joke. And people got mad. Yeah, they got mad, but it wasn't them getting mad. It was me getting mad at myself. What was the joke? Uh, he was wearing a really small jacket while he was doing this performance at like a, a minor league f baseball game. And he was doing like this Michael Jackson thing. And the, But the jacket was so small. I go, is, is that a jacket he was wearing when he was getting diddled when he was a little kid? Oh, okay. And I was like, why did I joke around that? It was just trying to make Greg laugh. And I, just, I said something that I was... And then afterwards, when I saw it, especially out of context, I was very disappointed in myself. He's, he wants $10 million to fucking yeah, expose pedophilia? I saw that. He's out of his mind. I think... Um, I don't think he... First of all, he never said that Michael Jackson did anything to him. He, was, he said that Michael Jackson didn't. But he said that there's a lot of pedophilia in Hollywood, and he wants to make some sort of a movie on it. Which I'm sure there's a lot of pedophilia in Hollywood. But, like, this idea that people are trying to kill him, he was saying people are trying to run him over, and... Is that what, isn't that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. I watched the video for like 10 time. seconds, and I felt bad for him. I if think they the wanted drugs to kill, caught up. Him. Yeah, if they wanted to kill him, he'd be dead. Yeah, the, uh, two trucks real? tried to hit him. That's not real. See, this is like weird paranoia shit. Let me tell you something. If they want to kill you, you're dead. 
and it's not going to be trucks trying to run you over. It's going to be a guy out of nowhere shoots you in the head and gets in his car, and no one's going to know who he is, and no one's going to catch him because they're going to hire a professional. Like this idea that someone's going to like miss him with a car, and then they're ch chasing him, running him down. I find that very hard. I mean, it's possible, but I find it very hard to believe. I always think that like if someone is a very powerful man, like like I don't know if the Clintons ever whacked anybody, but if they did, they whacked those fucking people. Like that one guy that was the big uh, the big conspiracy theory about the guy who released all the stuff to WikiLeaks, the DNC guy, Seth, Seth Rich. Rich. Yeah, they killed that motherfucker. Whoever did it, whether he was killed because some random person decided to shoot him in the back in the middle of the night and not steal his watch or his phone or his wallet, whether it's that or whether it's what Julian Assange from WikiLeaks said, is that there's consequences to leaking information to WikiLeaks, because that, that's what they were saying. And people were saying, look, this is another one of the Clinton body count people, and then there's you know, giant conspiracy theories about how many people the Clintons have had killed. I don't know if that's true or not. I have zero information. But I do know when people want you dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. When they're real people like that, that are real killers and evil fucks, there's a lot of people that have been killed, like Putin. If Putin wants you dead, you get shot on TV in front of everybody and nothing happens. No one goes to jail. No one gets caught. You're just dead. That's the type of people we're talking about. So this, you know, I just, I have a hard time believing that, like, someone's getting, like, barely missed by a car. That's like some movie shit. Like, they were coming after me, but I dived into the bushes at the last minute, and now I'm hiding in a motel somewhere, and I can't tell you where, but if you give me $10 million, I want to make a movie. You know what? I feel bad for Corey Feldman when you see that, when you see that performance. I mean, I bet he's a nice kid and stuff, but you can see Hollywood's just fucking made a mockery. Like, they just beat him up, dog. Well, he grew up on they TV and in the up. movies. Yeah, they beat him up. If you this... grow up in the movies, you, you, know, you don't have a childhood. Who the fuck do you know? Who? At name one. That made it through that meat grinder of growing up famous that's not completely fucking crazy. Name one. Name one. Look, Miley Cyrus might have got out of it better than any of them. She's, like, her new album's really good. No, she's, listen, she's as a musician, talented. she's great, bro. Don't have, you ever see those ones that she's up on the hill in Tennessee with a little band and they're singing outside in the mountains? You ever seen her cover of Jolene? Yeah, Jolene. Jolene, yeah. that whole thing. No, no, she's great. <laughs>